A startup in the Boston area is providing a new way to help recover stolen bikes. The company is working with local authorities and providing a smartphone app called Reggie. As our guest from Reggie, we'd like to welcome the co-founder and director of product, Ken Smith. Thank you very much for being with us, Ken. Thank you for having me. I know bikes are an important part of your life, so I guess that was how you, you got the idea for this. So ex explain how that happened. Sure. Um, I am an avid cyclist and I'm a cycle commuter. And we were actually looking at some databases from the FBI, looking at crime statistics and properties that's been recovered. It's interesting and actually rather sad that only 7% of stolen goods are recovered by the rightful owner. So we wanted to do something about that. And one of the missions of our company is not only to help recover uh, bikes and get them back to their proper owner, but actually to take a billion dollars in stolen goods off the internet. Well, one of the things I want to start with is how important it is to take precautions because there are some people say, I've mm -hmm. just paid for this really great uh, lock, you know, I, I'm, I'm pretty uh, vigilant about where I put my bike. So, uh, do I have to worry about this being stolen? Well, I think it's like the you know, alarm system you may have in your car. If somebody really wants after your bike, they're going to take your bike. Um, the reason that pre-registering your bicycle is so important is a case in point with a woman by the name of Lucy. She was an MIT graduate student. She had her bike stolen. But because she had the registration number, she was able to work with law enforcement. The bike got posted up on Craigslist. They put up a sting. They went and got the bad guy. And most importantly, Lucy got her bicycle back. Without the serial number, there's really very little that the law enforcement agencies can do. Well, one of the things you found uh, as you were developing this app is, is that there are a lot of bikes that the police have recovered, the, 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 but the missing piece is uh, the, the owner, I guess. It's the serial number. If you went into the police station and you tried to recover any type of stolen property, you would have to provide a couple of forms of ID, and you'd also have to provide some proof of purchase or ownership or something to that effect. So again, another great case. We had posted some found bicycles from the MBTA. Uh, they were in a warehouse. Gentleman called up a couple of days later. He had proof of ownership, and he got reunited with a thousand-dollar bicycle thanks to the MBTA police. Now, you're not the first person to create a, a registry for things that might be stolen. So, right. what's the difference between your version and, and some of the other things that have been created? I think most importantly, with our app, we've tried to make the registration process very user-friendly. So we don't require multiple screens and you know copies of the receipt or what have you. You simply take a picture, put in the serial number, put in the date of purchase if you have it, the value, etc. Then if it's ever lost or stolen, you actually report it right from your phone. The notice goes up into the cloud so anybody can see it, including a used bike goods dealer. Um, and law enforcement can also see it with all the information so they can follow up on the crime. So we've tried to make it as user-friendly and, and simple as possible. And most importantly is, again, if you get to your bike rack and you find your bike has been stolen, you simply click on your phone to file the report anywhere, anytime, on any jurisdiction. Now, insurance companies probably have uh, apps for doing this too, don't they? They do. Um, just about every single insurance company has some sort of a property registry. What they're looking at is they want to see in the event that you have a fire or a flood or any type of loss, they want to be able to backtrack to say, here's the value of this personal item, here's the value of that other item. So when they are actually honoring a claim, assuming that it's above the deductible, um, they can do that with some level of certainty. We're actually talking to many different insurance companies about using Reggie as a below the deductible solution. So most homeowners have about a $2,000 deductible. Most crimes are around $2,000. So if you've got a $1,000 bike, you shouldn't be filing your insurance claim. But with Reggie, we'll at least get you a discount offer to replace it. Now, if I have a bike stolen, uh, let's say it happened in Cambridge. So I, you know, I, I file a police report and I'm trying to get it back, uh, but it could be recovered who knows where, right? Mm -hmm. So I guess that's mm -hmm. why this app is important because it's not just one department that, that you're searching in. That's exactly right. The Reggie Your Ride campaign is really a region-wide effort. We've got all of the major local law enforcement agencies. Boston Police Department is behind us, MBTA Police, Somerville, Arlington, multiple other departments have contacted us. We're also working with BU, Northeastern, many other colleges and universities. And as you say, that's the key thing, which is with Reggie, we are not limited by jurisdictional lines the way that the law enforcement agency would be. So we show property theft, crime, and it could be a lost or found item. It doesn't have to be a crime. Um, but we show that across the entire region. So anybody could lose their bike like Lucy. Uh, she lost her bike in Austin. It was recovered over in Charlestown from the guy who was stealing it. She's an MIT student over in Cambridge. All those systems work. And we're a national platform. We're already up and live throughout the entire country. You know, there's this classic movie, The, the Bicycle Thief, that was set in, in a time and place where, the, where there was a lot of hardship. People didn't have cars, so of yeah. course you wanted to steal a bike. Yeah. Uh, in, in 21st century America, 
what is it about bikes that pe people would want to steal them for? Uh, I think the, what you're seeing is in an urban environment, especially where you have a lot of students, bicycles are an important part of the overall urban infrastructure and transportation. You've got to have cars, you've got to have trucks in order to move people and goods around. You need to have really good public transportation, but we just have too many people and you can't fit that many people in that many cars in any city. Look at how congested we already are. So I think bicycles are a great point-to-point -point solution. And for a lot of folks who may be, you know, not having a whole lot of money, um, a bicycle is a much lower cost solution than trying to go buy a car. You also don't have the maintenance, you don't have the upkeep. And I think what the DPWs are seeing across the country is bicycles don't cause potholes. Okay, very interesting. So if people want to find out how to get hold of this app, uh, what's the best way to check that out? They can either come to our website, www.regie.com, and that's spelled R-E-J-J-E-E, -E, or they can just find us on Facebook. Thank you very much for being with us. Thank you. From Reggie, Ken Smith. Up ahead, the art segment with Chris Harding.